Well, hey, Gundam Maniacs, welcome to another episode of Gundam Explained. Uh, for this episode, we're going to be looking at a pretty cool collectible. It's not a Gumpla, and it's not a Robot Spirits, but it's actually an action figure of the characters. Um, we've got some Xeon pilots, but we also have Char Asnable. Um, yeah, here is the box. Uh, very cool box, lots of accessories. You know what? This thing is priced by itself at about 50 It's... You know, a lot more than that when you get the three-pack that comes with the, the Xeon Pilots, but there's no other way to get a Char like this, and it seems more like a $30 figure. I've had a supporter bring that up, and that makes a lot of sense. But at 50 to 60 that's where you can get the fans, the people that really want to buy this will. So, um, yeah, let's... Let's look into it. But before we get started, if you haven't, please subscribe. Check out the links in the description for the Discord and the Patreon. There's a lot of cool Patreon perks, like a, a movie night and behind the scenes of uh, me creating stuff. But uh, let's get started. All right, and uh, here we have it. Char Aznable as an action figure. This is something I've wanted for a long time by long time. I mean, ever since I got into Gundam, you know, being one of the main characters and being that I would generally collect... Um, figures of the size. Now, I do have previous videos of the other ones. So back here, we have a Xeon soldier. And we have a Federation soldier. I do have reviews of those up if you want to see. It's all pretty much the same in terms of the functions, the articulation, the accessories. But I really just wanted to look at at Char here because this is pretty amazing. Um, and he's got his coffee or his tea. I mean, it is more of a red drink. Um, he comes with tons of accessories, and we're actually going to look at those as well. But um, uh, also taking a look at the the Xeon pilot, which looks sick. Obviously, this would be in some sort of fighter or a mobile suit. Um, I love how they have the helmet done here because it's like a plastic you can see through, but um, it looks like the glass. Now, there's something I want to bring up that there's there's sometimes quality control issues with these. When I first got my Xeon and Federation set. Uh, I had no quality control issues with them. I then, for whatever reason, bought some more so I could have a huge army. And then that's when they started having QC issues where I'd noticed like the paint apps looked like they were rushed by hand, put on there. Um, some of the pegs were stiff to where they just broke off. Um, and when I say some, it was really just one at ankle. Um, and so I was kind of afraid of that with this, and so far it's it's okay, I would say. And I'm going to show a close-up here. And now if we look at Char, which I think the face is great, you can see on the cheek there's that little dot there, which I think I can... It's not huge, but it's noticeable if it's pointed out. I might... I don't want to touch it up with paint. I might get like some my wife's makeup or something and just, you know, put a little dot there because I mean, look at the size of my finger and look at the size of that dot. It's tiny. It's not that noticeable, but noticeable for people like me and I'm going to want to fix it. So I might, yeah, throw some makeup on there, some paint. I don't know. Um, uh, but otherwise it looks cool. The sculpt is cool. Um, the, the eyes aren't perfect, but then again, we're, we're working at a, a scale that is pretty small. So there's some things that I'm willing to let go of. Um, and, and actually, for comparison, here is a clone trooper from the Star Wars uh, Vintage Collection line. This is like my top choice of, what is it, the 3.75 or the 118th um, scale articulated, fully articulated, super articulated action figures. Uh, even the these um, Mega House uh, Gundam figures have more articulation than the Star Wars figures. I would just say the Star Wars figures seem to be a little more solidly built. But but at the same time, there are some weird limits with articulation when it comes to the Star Wars figures. Like, he's got uh, his little skirt here, which I know that there's a specific name for it. And it that just stops movement of the legs. Um, it's like, you can't really do much with that. But it's... It's there, whereas, you know, with this, um, the way they made the skirting on him, it's this uh, move, easily movable plastic. Um, so, yeah, I, it's it, it's really hard to say. Like, if we look at both of these faces, I mean, I would say for sure, even though it's based on an anime, the sharp face isn't as good as 
uh, we've got with this clone trooper. That's like a Tamura Mor- Morrison face. And um, yeah, it's it's really hard to complain. But if you look at the paint apps, like like look at how they were able to do the eyes and the eyebrow on uh, the clone, even the lips. I mean, they're using that uh, photoreal technology. But I guess because this is an anime, it doesn't need that. So uh, I think we'll see some differences between the two lines. And as someone that loves the Star Wars Vintage Collection figures, I then know how to appreciate what comes from these Mega House Gundam releases. But there's another, uh, Haya Toys um, has uh, an awesome line of aliens and Predator action figures. Actually, a Predator would be good. I put most of my... uh, these scaled action figures up in the attic uh, for now. So I just have my Gundams. But, I mean, the Xenomorph scales wonderfully. This would be an awesome thing to do. I mean, having Charlie to tro- uh, a troop out to fight uh, Xenomorphs, that's uh, pretty badass. All right, but let's get more of a look at Char here. Um, you know, he's holding this this cup. It's pretty funny. And it's actually done by a specific hand made. There we go. Let's get that in a specific hand made for that that has kind of the uh, the holding of the cup. That was actually hard to get it, but you can get it to you can work it in, and it might be at an angle. And so when I have him standing and holding it, I just move the arm down enough so it's not like tipping over. Okay, so I've already put all the accessories in this bag. Each pilot has its own accessories. And if you remember from the previous videos of the Federation Xeon soldiers, there's a lot of accessories. And a lot of times if you buy them as a three-pack, they come with something extra. And I couldn't really determine, I guess I could have looked it up, what the extra thing was here. But it did have the the buildable ladder, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, man, I really just threw all that stuff on the ground there, didn't I? Um, yeah, if you plug this in... You've not. You've now got a ladder. Um, and I mean, it's pretty tall. I mean, I guess I could have these guys, like on my desk, climbing around. I don't know. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I mean, there's really a lot of th- things here. I don't know if I'm gonna go through everything, but you know, one thing of note are the hands. A lot of the molds and sculpts are exactly the same. This is from all the other lines. The hands are exactly the same. They've got a hand to hold a weapon. They've got a relaxed hand. Um, they've got closed fists, so there's a lot of options, which are pretty cool for this scale of action figure um, to hold a lot of different stuff. Now, here is very easy to get the hands in and out, which is great. So, yeah, there he goes. He's with his pistol. He has multiple heads. Let's uh, look at that right now. So you can take off the head, and then you can also take off the helmet. Now, let me try to do I don't want to uh, scratch the paint, so I'm always trying to be careful when I'm doing this. Uh, bear with me, wiggling it out, wiggling it out, ah, there we go, so you can see he's got this giant block on his head that's actually kind of scary, um, <laughs> I mean, if someone was running at me and they looked like that, I would be horrified, I guess just FYI, um, here is Char without the helmet, looks great, Love the sculpt of the hair. Let me let me move it in very close so we can look at the sculpt. Yeah, the sculpt of the hair is really well done. I love it. Um, and that's just for another option. Now, another thing you can do, because we saw that we could remove the helmet, there's another face for Char that goes into the helmet, and that's him with a, a slight, like, smile. Like, uh, like he can't wait... To tell Amuro of all the bad things he's doing. So, here we go. A little little smirk on his face. Love it. I mean, that's Char for you, right? I mean, this thing is awesome. Yeah, and as I'm holding it, something to note is, like, the material on here. Like, this is sculpted into the chest. The shoulder and back are, are very soft plastic, just like the skirt here. Which is good. That's just like extra stuff you don't have to worry about breaking. All right, and then you've got this, which plugs into the side here. That way he can kind of have that look that, you know, we've seen from the original Mobile Suit Gundam. I mean, if I had him in a better pose, it would probably look a little more 
interesting or realistic. And that's what's good about these figures is they have so much articulation. You could you could do some really um, accurate in terms of human movement. <laughs> you can make some accurate looking uh, uh, poses. So yeah, then he came with his other hands. Um, and was there anything else from him? So there's these, and this is another thing from the original Mobile Suit Gundam, is you can put these, there's, I think, six of these bricks that go into this little tray here. And, I mean, they don't stay in. They fit in perfectly, but they're loose, so they'll just come out. So it's really up to you how you want to use that. Kind of cool that they added all that. I mean, really, if we're looking at the mess I have here, there's just a ton of stuff. So the rest of the stuff is really related to the pilot. So let's look at a Xeon pilot. So there's a female, and then there's a bulky boy. And that's how they do it. Usually these releases come with a female, a, a, a chunkster, and then someone that's just of a, a, a typical body size, I guess. Um, and that's what, you know, Shara came as. Looking at this, everything about this is super cool. I, I love it. I just, I would love to have like a little mock... Um, what pilot seat, and I know that's going to be coming out soon with the Sela version. But anyway, we take off the helmet, or the entire head. The helmet has these two pieces. So let's work on taking that off. And then there's where you get um, the character's head, and you can, let's see, with this character, the other head that she came with, was just this. So it's very interesting that, yeah, it's something with hair. So it's very interesting that it came with another, um, I guess, yeah, they could have just sculpted that in because there's not another one unless you wanted to share it, like if you bought multiples. Yeah, it's the same with this guy. You could take it off. There's his head in there. And they even come with a faceplate where it doesn't have the the plastic or the glass on front. It seemed like it was a little work just to get it on correctly, but you can have it without the visor, which looks pretty cool. Um, that's another good option. It's just, it's pretty amazing that they actually added it with uh, the way they did the plastic to really make it look like glass. Um, if I can get that to focus, but it doesn't matter. So a lot of other things are going on here. We've got this uh, container that contains food. Some of them I've put the stickers on. Some of them I didn't because the stickers that they came that came with it and even in the instructions showing how to apply them for mainly this like what looks like a hamburger box, the stickers were too big. It would not it would not fit on it. So I didn't put any stickers on there. Now, the stickers were almost too big for this uh combat ration pack, but I was able to get it to work. It's just it's really on the edge there. And then there's even the water, um, which is pretty cool, because we see that a lot when they're on uh, the decks of ships or whatever. Um, here we go, a little water packet, which is pretty cool. That's a sticker I put on, and I think that worked pretty well. Uh, there's like a sculpted piece that's raised that I put the sticker on. There's this uh, box here. You open it up, and it contains uh, these two books one's a uh, confidential field manual special operations forces and then first aid for soldiers both of these were stickers that i put on a sculpted piece and this confidential that you see right here is also a sticker that i put on there based on the instructions that they give you of where to put it i like putting stickers on but i like to make sure they're put on well and it works so for instance like with the little hamburger box pack that i didn't put the sticker on it just to me that wasn't going to work it was going to hang. It was going to come off over time. And then another one that is really cool, especially for having things in this scale, like I, uh, you can use this for other figures, is this laptop that I can't get to open. Okay, there we go. Um, another sticker I had to put in, but worked well. They use Windows as it looks. Um, and then there's like, yeah, the keyboard there, touchpad. Very cool. Very cool just to have this laptop to have the characters doing whatever. I mean, Shar could be sitting with his coffee on his laptop. That might be an excellent piece for my desk. You know, I, I'm working during the day. Shar can uh, hang along with me and do that. Um, so another thing with the the pilots is you can take off their arms and their head and allows you to easily place on a vest. What does the vest do? Well, it allows you to attach multiple things on there. 
This one uh, seems to be some sort of uh, tank, so that could be for um, oxygen or something, uh, or a flamethrower. That would be awesome. The other part that you can put on the back of the vest is the jetpack here, so we can see um, it's this little T-shape. No, that's not a, a piece of the psycho frame. That's... Uh, <laughs> That is kind of the indention used to attach these. But it does have an area to put a gun. Now, on the the other figures, it was per very easy to do. But with the weapons that came with this, I could not get any of them to stay on. So, um, I mean, some of them look like they would, but they would just fall off. Like, yeah, that would fall off. This doesn't seem to have anything made to hold that, you know, unless I'm completely missing what that's supposed to do. Yeah, same with this, potentially. Yeah, I can't get that either. Um, so I, I think maybe it's the, the molds from the previous sculpts that have this and the weapons don't necessarily fit because the guns that come with the... Here's the Federation Soldier Machine Gun, Xeon Soldier Shotgun. I th think that's coming in blurry. Come on. Yeah, you know you can autofocus. So, yeah, there you go. Oh, you know what? Something else from Shar I forgot to bring up is this little pamphlet. He has this little book, notebook, whatever you want to call it. But he can't hold it in any of his hands. It falls off. So you would have to just rest it in place, use some blue tack. Uh, you can get around it. It's just, you know, a little disappointing that they made that uh, the hand for the cup, which is great. But nothing to actually hold this book. All right, some other things that I didn't even put together. There's a whole grappling contraption here. I haven't put together yet. I don't know if I will, but it, but it's pretty cool that that's actually an option. We get a bazooka. Looks just like a uh, a Dom bazooka, actually. Or maybe, yes, something from a, a Zaku. Uh, it looks more Dom-like to me with that. But, yeah, that's just another addition that they come with. And the guy, uh, it's pretty cool because he has an eye patch. So, pretty cool that you get an option where, yeah, you can you know, take off the helmet. The head that's in there, give the dude an eye patch, it looks cool. You know, and so really that's it, that's kind of what I wanted to, you know, show off here is just this new Char version, it comes with all these accessories, and I mean, this thing is really cool if if you like this sort of stuff, if you're into just, like, the action figures of characters in general, army building, I have a ton of stormtroopers, I have a ton of clone troopers, I now have a ton of uh, Earth Federation and Xeon soldiers, um, it, it's just more my thing. Um, that's just an aspect or an element of Gundam that I like. That's not specifically about building Gumpla. Is being able to uh, is the characters having you know the armies on display. Um, even in the the little display I have in the back, I have them kind of. I don't even know how to navigate my arms like this, but yeah, they're down at the bottom there. Well, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions about any of these figures. I didn't dive into a lot of the specifics about articulation because I've done that on a previous video. So check that out if you want to uh, get a closer look at that. But, you know, this is just so cool to have an action figure of Char. There's a Sailor one coming out. I want there to be an Amuro one, Bright. I want to get the whole white base crew. So I hope they continue to do these releases, even though they seem kind of expensive. To me, it seems worth it because how else are we going to get something that is exactly what I think people that want this <laughs> would want? You know, the the 3.75 inch and 118th scale, fully articulated action figures, tons of accessories. Um, it's super sick. So if there's anything I didn't cover that you're interested in or any questions about those release, just let me know. Um, and also, if you haven't, again, check out the uh, links in the description. There's the Discord. That's a lot of fun. I have a Patreon. You can help support the channel and actually get some pretty cool perks along the way. But I'm also open to feedback on that. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk later.